Hey, it's Dave here. I just wanted to share with you some cool text features for both Keynote and Pages on iPad. So we're just going to start by working with Keynote, but uh, like I've mentioned, the same applies for Pages. So here I've got a project I'm working on about snakes, and I just want to uh, change this snake's font into a snakeskin font. Okay, so how to do that, just click on the font, come up to the paintbrush, it helps if you've already downloaded a file that's got, or an image that has the snake skin you've got. So I just happen to have one in my camera roll. So I'm just going to go to there and choose this snake skin picture here. So what you can see now is that it uh, is masked to the font. It looks quite cool with, uh, as it's a similar colour to that snake. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that font, but what I think it might need is just a bit more of a border or an outline. So you click on the font and then just come up here to the ellipses tool next to font. So you can choose to have an outline around your font. So I'm just going to press that button and come down here and I'm going to choose the color. I just want a white outline color. I'm then going to come down here to the width and I'm just going to play around with that until I'm happy with how that looks. Okay, and there you can see uh, you've got a font with a snake pattern skinned background. I think that looks really effective for oh. whatever you're designing in Keynote or Pages. So uh, check that out. I'll do that once more. So if I go back down here and have a look at this next page, I'm just going to click on snakes. I'm going to go to text color, choose image, change image, Find the image you want to use. So I might just use this blue one, which looks quite effective as a snake skin for that. And it kind of picks up the colors in the snake as well. But I'm just going to show you something else. I'm just going to change that to a, a white snake skin pattern. Choose a color overlay. So if I just press this button here, you can see that at the moment it's filled that color. But if I come down to the opacity slider here, I can just drag that across and then it reveals the snake skin pattern behind. So I've got blue but I think it doesn't quite match the the picture that well so what I can do is come into the fill option here see how you got two options here flick to the left and then you get this color picker so if you click on that then you can choose a color from your object so I'm just going to choose uh, this orangey color from the snake skin there and just tap on that and you can sort of see how uh, it complements the snake more so let's go back I just want to change the opacity slider just a little bit so I'm just going to bring that opacity slider around about something like that and I'll then also come up here and I might have an outline for this one as well. Let's go to color, choose the white and choose a outline style that suits your uh, picture. You can also come to line style here. You can choose patterns that might complement snake skin better and just work your way through those and see which one works best. You can also choose a color for the outline so maybe let's try and pick up on this lighter color here and there you go you've got a uh, snake skin background with a different outline around the text let's have a look at another style of image that you could work on here say so you're lucky enough to be doing a project on donuts you could uh, click on the font we're going to choose an image okay and I so happen to have a really cool freckles kind of background that works quite well and you can sort of see how much of an impact that now makes that that font okay so just by getting any image off the internet and then using it as a masking uh, background in your text uh, can have a real impact for that overall design and layout of your the work that you do in keynote and pages and